Starlighter was pretty cool. I've been watching it. Oh, you meet my star. That's what you mean. I, for some reason, I thought you were talking about the Celestial Tournament. Yeah, that was... Uh, <laughs> I had a good run for, with my other decks. My Grinder Mage kind of got me, though. I probably should not have done that. Submitted that deck. I think my win rate with the other decks are actually pretty good. <laughs> like, I got reverse all killed by that deck quite a bit. Or it's just like I opened with that deck and I lost like all three games or something. Put this apple on your head. Okay, I can trade in. It's also gives me a gorilla bot, which is kind of cool because it's a mech. It's not like Blast Mage. It's a mech that also benefits from having mechs, not like Blast Mage, which isn't a mech itself. Oh, this turn is going to be crazy for me. He's going to fall very far behind here. Okay, so now I have to decide. This is when Discover really kicks in skill-wise. I would probably take Snow Chugger over Suit Spear, but it comes down to whether I want to take the Faux Reaper or not. This is a fast matchup. So let's see how many turns of stuff I have. Play Blast Mage next turn, Clockwork Gnome this turn. I'll be running out of stuff. I don't think I can make it all the way to turn 8 doing stuff, so... But then again, I do want to probably just take this higher cost mech, actually. If he does have Muster, I have a good Blast Mage here. Wow. It's going face. Oh no. <laughs> For some reason I saw, saw his cursor on, on the face. I was like, that is really weird. Moon Invader. Thanks for resubbing. Welcome back. Chris. I actually have this Mech Warper up. It's getting to the point where I can just go face and race him and maybe protect my board with a Counterspell. Actually, I'm not really that weak to Consecrate and I'd, I'd rather not play Counterspell here. I open myself up to a pin playing Sludge Belcher next turn. I'm just gonna play my mechs. At this point, I'm considering taking a Sneeds. Sneeds is better than Faux Reaper as a big minion, and uh, at this point, I have stuff to do until turn 8. So it's not gonna make me play considerably faster. I could take the Clockwork Gnome play it for free, but the problem with that is obviously. I'm getting more and more weak to Consecrate anyways, and it's gonna die for free. I think I'd still rather play Mad Scientist over Suit Spear in case of Consecrate, just because of getting out the secret is very important. So like, it gives me a, it gives me a Mirror Entity down instead of a 3-1 Suit Spear, which I'd still take that trade. Let the games begin. Probably just keep this hand. I'd like to have a little bit more power. I have a lot of two threes. It's really good against Zoo, but against Handlock, they don't do a lot of damage and they don't trade well into Drakes, Twilight Drakes and stuff. But it's hard to mulligan this kind of curve with Mech Warper, so. That, I guess that's the use of my Mech Warper here if it survives. Get out Harvest Golem on turn two. So still get the curve out a little bit better with it up. It's pretty good having the Noitron here. I'm gonna go ahead and play Scientist. I'm 
I'm keeping this guy as a 2-3 because he can test Imp Gang without dying in one shot. Potentially, so. Ouch. Ooh, Blast Mage. I don't think I'm gonna kill the egg, I'm just gonna hope it doesn't hit the egg. Let's go ahead and hit this guy down. Blast Mage makes more sense than trading first. The AoE is all at once. So as long as it hits the Imp Gang once. Otherwise I might not even want to kill the Imp Gang. Maybe I can just kill these two or something, because it trades for free. There's not really a timing for Mirror Entity in this matchup. Most of the zoo can play around it fairly easily at any point, so I'm not too worried about Suicide by Mad Scientist here. Just gotta hope it dies before I top deck the Mirror Entity. Like, the only particularly good turn is right before turn 7, since... Right before turn 7, you can stop them from playing Dr. Boom. Any other turn is all pretty much the same, I think. I'm gonna want to ping this turn. That means I'll have to play Snow Chugger, unfortunately, or Counterspell. Counterspell, he's already used one implosion. I'm not weak to power rolling right now. I got $3 donation from Anonymous. Hey Strife Crow, do you think there's any good Freeze Mage deck you can use in the current meta? Love your stream, greetings from Germany. Freeze Mage is good all around right now. I just go for a very standard Freeze Mage. I don't think Freeze Mage has really changed in the last five to eight months. I think some people have put Reno. I don't think it's necessary to put in Reno. And I think people... I guess Reno is the only real thing that people have tried a lot. Other than that, like maybe Malagos. But I'd say it's it's pretty good in the meta. It's, it's, controller is not that common and Freeze Mage... It almost hits like favored, almost certainly favored against most other decks, so. Interesting. Actually, I'm not really weak to any Void Walker trade, Void Caller trade. It's kind of cool that I can leave it up without getting punished too much because if he trades for the Snow Chugger, it's frozen for two turns. That's crazy because next turn it'll be frozen again. If he taunts and trades for that, I'll be pretty sad, but other than that, it'll be too long. If he trades for Snow Chugger, trades for Shredder, it'll die in his turn, which is what I want. That way I have a turn to deal with whatever demon comes out. I think he doesn't have Melganus or Demon Guard in his hand, or otherwise he would have played this first. Oh, maybe he does, because Dr. Boom, he wanted to play Dr. Boom. I have uh, 9 damage in my hand, plus 7, 9 plus 7, 16. I'm really close. It's just hard to save Archmage Frost will turn 9. I don't think I'll survive till turn 10 to get that one extra fireball I need for lethal. If I go all face, I'll have an empty board. This is weird. I can go for another top deck Frostbolt number 2 or fireball. I think I'm better off trading, actually. Perhaps. So I'm not sure. Just gonna squeeze in a couple of pings here, power pings. Oh my god, seriously. Okay, it looks like I made the wrong call. I thought this was Zoo. With my play, I had a couple turns to top deck either more damage, but because I squeezed in the extra ping, if I just kept pinging him until turn 10, I feel like I would have won on turn 10 as long as I don't die before turn 10 too. But yeah, he ran a lot of cards I didn't expect.
I was mostly worried about Melganis. I had some kind of read that he didn't have it though, because Imp Gang came out of the of the Void Caller, so it's less chance he has it. I didn't expect him to have Healbot and Murgleton in his deck. I've got the beast in my Alright, uh, he has lethal. Checkmate. Well done. Well. I'm trying to think about the chances of hitting three health target with blast mage with four. Should be a very simple problem. Let the games begin. Three to Okay, yeah, it's less than 50% chance. I think let's go for faster opening, or else keep double shredder. Double shredders are amazing against priests. The problem is then I need to get pretty lucky on having something to do turn one and two. He can trade in and heal, but then, I mean, I can still trade in and ping, or you know, it's frozen too, so I can leave it up for a little bit. I take you down with me. Let's go ahead and stop his hero power here from working. Really fast opening, hopefully he doesn't curve out as good as a priest. And it's best to fight these zombie chows with mid-range minions instead of these small minions. So hopefully I'm getting shredders or something. Harvest Golem, just it's like two hits mad scientist one on each, because he can trade here, then trade here. This way at least I get a counter spell out. Not the best secret, but I don't think Mirti is as good here either. Mostly because he has the board advantage, so he doesn't have to play any minions. That's actually good for me. Okay, so I have a big mains by turn 7. I don't know if that really helps. It might be best for me to just uh, mirror entity here and... And then try to top deck mid range minions like Shredder. Otherwise, I can double a Noitron and go for Gorilla Bot next turn. Let's go ahead and play Mirati first. That way, I can lock down his turn this turn. Maybe just Hero Powers here instead of play with Sludge Belcher. And then next turn, I can go for the uh, Noitron Golem into a Noitron Gorilla Bot. Well, we'll see what I get with Gorilla Bot first. Not gonna play around with Cabal. <clears throat> How many fingers do you see? How many fingers do you see? Let's go and see what I get here. I get a mech warper with some cheap mechs. I think I'm gonna want to play a Noitron this turn, actually. This is kind of weird if I leave this up. But I just get so many better trades the other way. That's perfect. I didn't even see that. Perfect. <laughs> I didn't even see that. I was just gonna trade into the, to there and then half trade there. So like, hopefully it doesn't go too bad for me. Because if I did the whole trade there, it'd be I'd lose a lot of value. Looks like Blast Mage 
kind of underwhelming here. Interesting. Because the one ones I can kill almost for free with the one two, the other targets aren't really going to be easily removed with the boss mage. I need to think of a curve though. So if I play Doctor Boom this turn. I can play Clockwork, Spire Tank, and Blast Mage on turn 8, and then I'll have the Spare Power for Archmage on turn 9. That sounds like a good plan for the next couple turns. Then as far as what to do this turn, I'd say maybe just kill the Blight Master here. Actually, we have Blast Mage. Ultimately, it won't make that much of a difference, probably. This game is pretty close, actually. It depends what spare part I get. Or if he can deal with my Archmage, or if I can even kill his Boom, we'll see. Okay. Reversing switch. Looks like that won't really help. I wish I could do the Cog Hammer trick. Cogmaster trick with reversing switch, but I can't. It's not a 3-2. If it's 3-2, I can turn into a 3-3 or 4-3 or something. Yeah, 4-3. So, reversing switch something. I might consider reversing switch the Archmage because it does more damage. That's pretty risky, though. It's like a high risk, low reward play, I think. It's gonna reversing switch the Ar Ragnaros. Just to get a fireball, I don't want any of the other things reversed. I just want the fireball. Because if he has Pyromancer, he can deal one damage to Cogmaster. Let me change your mind. Okay. We might still win this game, actually. Oh, I wish I swapped this, but it's not a big deal. It's just a one-two. I'll be so sad if he cabals my other guy. Okay, one damage. You oh. have The Archmage is ridiculously good. He wins the games so randomly. Archmage is like almost one of the, I think it's top five Hearthstone cards overall in strength. It's like one of those Tyrion boom level cards. Let the games begin. Classically, this is a mech mage favored matchup against Druid. Reasoning is just to overwhelm them. Druid doesn't have a lot of good board clear against mech mage. Druid's really good at clearing pallet and stuff because of swipe, but these like mid range minions, Druid has a hard time with, and you can just swarm them. I can save Clockwork. Actually, I don't care if he coins out of hero power. If I trade, then I can kind of protect my mech warper. I don't even need the mech warper to survive. I can just go golem into gorilla bot. But if it survives, I can go gorilla bot immediately. Immediately, so it's still a little bit better. Is this a new board? 
Oh, this is a new board. I didn't even notice. Ooh. I wonder if there's a puzzle to solve here. Time waits for no one. Ooh, I solved it. I must save her the land. Can't get it open again, Dev. Innervate. I like playing Golem here. It's not necessarily gonna die. It probably won't actually. It's better than reversing switch frostbolt. Okay, let's see. Pretty tempted to not play Gorilla Bot. Trades pretty poorly against the 4 3. Not really that poorly, but. Can also Frostbolt it. Try to get the free kill on the Shredder. If a bad. Like if a. A lot of minions get killed pretty poorly by the Shredder. And then play Mad I like that. I have too much incentive to keep my golem alive too, to, to trade like that, semi-trade. Thing is I get out of Mad Scientist, I'm gonna hope that it survives for Grill Pop, but getting out of Mirror Entity as soon as possible is really important. I wouldn't be surprised if he's playing aggro with how fast he's curved out Living Roots. It's kind of hard because all these cards are using both aggro and mid-range Druid, Living Roots, Keeper, and Shredder, but... I must safeguard the land. Wow, that's a crazy hand. I wish I had a better read. Because Fell River is the best. The problem is it dies to Big Game Hunter. I don't even know if he's aggro is the thing. No point in reversing switch right now. I'd rather have a 2-1 than a 1-2 against a 2-3 and a 2-4 anyway, so. Fo Reaper is... I feel like it's a bit slow. Even though I do have stuff to do, I can make stronger moves with Fel Reaver. This matchup is so tempo-oriented, I don't think it's correct to take a 8-drop. The ordering should be like Fel Reaver first and then play the second Grail Bot later, because Grail Bot's a weak tempo play, it's just for card draw. Yeah, so it is Fel Reaver. Unfortunately, I don't think I can kill his Fell Reaver with Reversing Switch. I can play my own Fell Reaver. I'm gonna need to do that. It's better than Shredder Ping. It's not really about milling him, but I want to protect this trade a little bit better for me. I, I'm not really scared of Fell Reaver smashing into my guy anyways. Another night on the track. Unfortunately, Mad Scientist is too slow. Even though I have Mirror Entity and Counterspell left, it's already his turn 7. He can play Boom or Second Fell Reaver and the game's over as far as him needing to play minions all burn from there. So I guess I get a Counterspell too, potentially. Yeah, I like it. It's enough. This might save me from a combo card at the end. Oh, he's lost both combos. Kind of? Yeah, it's too many minions. Alright, he has seven cards. I can mill out his whole deck this turn, but I'll, I'll be dead to the board. Unless I get really lucky. Let's go ahead and play Gorilla Bot here first. Target dummy. Oh, or Enhanso Meccano. Enhanso Meccano. 
gets one more card though if I don't play the target dummy and Blast Mage this turn. Blast Mage. Okay, I'm gonna go for Blast Mage. I'm yellowing it somewhat. I think it's good. I'm gonna play this first. Wow, it didn't kill anything. So he's pretty much has lethal, but not completely. I this is so. I didn't even get to kill the both boom bots. If I got to kill both boom bots, my odds would have been so much better because I can taunt out one guy. But now he can boom bot, but it's still one damage off. He has no more cards in his deck, so maybe we can still win. I'm not sure. The chances are extremely low, actually, because if he gets me to one, unless I top deck another taunt, I'll still die to his hero power next turn. If only that was Counterspell, maybe I had a chance. The thing about the Enhanced of Mechanic move is I don't get the target dummy, so I'm like missing the taunt there and I'm, I won't be able to play the Blast Mage that turn. Blast Mage was what I needed to potentially clear three of his four minions. In fact, it's it was actually pretty likely I cleared three of his four minions with Blast Mage, but it kind of ran out. Two face, too many went to the face. And Hanson Mechano, it's pretty much like one taunt. There's like three things, I had like four minions. The chance of getting more than one taunt, it's like around 1.33 in the long run. But this way, I get one taunt and I also get the Blast Mage removal. Playing this guy, it's Divine Shield trade's good. So the Trigger's weak to a couple things, both the Quick Shot and the Glaive Zooka, especially Glaive Zooka kind of. Double dipping? What does that mean? Put this apple on your head. Might just go ahead and remove this. Actually, Mech Warper makes it really good. Yeah, because I can play Mech Warper next turn with Snow Chugger together. Nice, he misses Animal Companion drop. Definitely still making this play. It's a face hunter. If, if he doesn't leave it up, I can also play both of my three drops on turn four. I'm gonna go for like the high. Always make the strong plays generally. That's kind of decent for me. Oops, wrong one. Actually, uh, it's not that much difference. It, it kind of is a little bit difference in the sense that it's less weak to removal spells. Either way, it's a 2-4 kind of here instead of a 3-4, but 2-4, 3-4 is the same. He has a little bit less incentive to trade, and it's like less weak to things like Kill Command if he has a Beast or Hunter's Mark. I'm just trying to stick a mech for Blast Mage. We still have 28 health, but the bad thing is he has kind of the board control right now. I'm gonna almost certainly play Archmage on turn 7. Okay, so this is Hero Power. If I ping it, I can ping it over two turns if you try. I don't care about that. I'm just gonna face. I'm at 18. If he trades, I'll be happy enough. Sure. 
to be right. If he did that, if he traded in, I would have just left that up. Oh, and I'm not sure. It's like a lot of things are reasonable. A lethal and double fireball and double fireball. Double fireball and double fireball. I think I'm gonna lose the freezing trap. There's no way. Okay, wait, I have a couple of options. I can fireball this ping trade. Ugh, fireball, fireball trade. That's not good. I have to get yellow it. I'm gonna lose the freezing trap. I gotta hope it's explosive. What if I trade here first to play around another and leash the hounds? Because let's say I keep both up. Yeah, that's actually better. Now I don't lose to another unleash the hounds. He's just one top deck to kill me. But unleash isn't a, an out anymore. I could double fireball him next turn. I don't think I could have won if I popped the trap this turn explosive. Oh my god. Alright, I gotta hope it's bear trap. <laughs> That's just what it's come down to. I don't think there's any other way I can do this. Interesting. Gorilla bot into shredder. There's no one drop mech that'll save me here, as far as I know. To battle. Nice. 